girl is feeling good, feeling great this morning, and guess why? Go ahead, guess. I'll wait. I post my first vlog last night. Although I was up to like 2 a.m. editing, it didn't get up until about 2 a.m. I still did it. I accomplished it. I'm proud of myself. And I actually had fun editing. The only thing about doing the editing is the music part. Finding the right music. Of course, you got to make sure it's not copyright. And yeah, for the most part, that was the only part that really kind of like, okay, let's find the right music to put in this spot or whatever. But and then another thing was I lost two of my files, two of my clips, because I took my card out before saving it. I took my card out of my computer before saving it. And it was saying re-import and I could not figure out for the life of me how to re-import. So if y'all know how to do that, please let me know. But the show had to go on. So I went ahead and put the vlog up anyways without those two clips. But and it was just a simple vlog vlog i really didn't do much in that vlog because it's been rainy and wet and foggy and disgusting but yeah i got it done and i'm proud of myself but we are up it's almost 12 o'clock and i have i took my son to school they got an early release day today so he'll be out in about an hour so i really can't do much of anything but wait on him to get out of school because I got to go pick him up. And then after I get him or before, I'm going to try to go before and go get my toes done. I really want my nails done, but I ain't going to lie. I hate sitting there waiting to get my toes and nails done. And then on top of that, like I said, I deal with so much color and stuff that it's just like they gonna get stained or whatever but i don't know i might do it and after we get him from school we want to get a pina colada your girl is feeling like a pina colada today yeah sure is but i got on a little target two-piece i'll show y'all in the mirror in just a minute but yeah let's get out this house and do something be back be back okay y'all this is the target two-piece that i have on i got it like during the summertime so of course they don't have it anymore but yeah this is the simple look we got some vans on white vans and that's what we're doing today simple let's get out of here yeah we have not accomplished anything but going to picture on you I started watching TV, so it took me a while to get out the house. But I am at the salon now. I got a phone call that your girl got a flower delivery. She need to come pick her flowers up. Yeah. So we're here to pick up my flowers. And I'm going to go in here and grab them. And then I'll show y'all my flowers. I love it. I love it here. So I picked my roses up from the salon and they are beautiful. So sweet. We dropped the roses off at home. Now we are headed to the beach so I can get them crab claws and banana pudding that I've been claiming I've been going to get for the longest. And we're going on a solo date, just us going to one spot to get me some crab claws and then I'm going to another spot to get the bread pudding. Girl gotta do what a girl gotta do. Oh, let me show y'all the view. Hold on. Can y'all see the view crossing the bridge? Yeah. I'll show y'all a better view once we get there. We are here and I've been saying banana pudding. I meant bread pudding. And I also said pina colada and I meant a bushwhacker. Anybody that's from the city that I'm from know what a bushwhacker is, but 
yeah we here we finally made it and the lighting is kind of horrible i got to facetime my baby because he apparently thinks that i'm on a date and i'm by myself thank you do you want to start off with any appetizers today? I want some. Do y'all have any crab claws? I do. Okay, I want some crab claws. I okay. know exactly what I want. <laughs> Thank you. But look at your girl. I ain't embarrassed to vlog in front of people. Don't play with me. I'm going to get good at this. The water is so pretty. I'll be back out. Finally. Them some honey biscuits, but I'm gonna turn this off because I don't want that music to get me in trouble. Not that drink that kicked in, and I came on here to tell y'all how good God is to me. God is good. The fact that I don't have to sell this cat and I live lovely, the fact that I ain't got to deal with nobody I don't want to deal with, I ain't got to fake the funk like I like somebody I don't like. Baby, where you parked that big ass van next to me? Out, whole empty ass parking lot. Why did you park next to me? I mean, y'all, it's empty, empty out here. And he, he come with this big old school bus. But anyways, God is so good to me. I am truly blessed. I do what I want to do when I want to do it. And I ain't got to be bothered, honey. I ain't got to fake it. Anyways, we finna go get this bread put in. Look at, look at the big bus. Look, look, look. What are they doing? Anyways. Yeah. That drain kicked in. Might get myself into something still early okay y'all i guess i'll let y'all know where i'm from this is my city hey hey so me why don't drive so you done, drop the window, ho we vibe, ho we skate, ayy, cut the light out while you wide. Good morning, y'all. God has given us another chance, another day at life. Shout out to God for being so amazing. But anyways, we are currently at the salon. I have did a few heads already. I have a client under the dryer right now and I figure I should come out here and tell y'all good morning because I didn't this morning. This morning was kind of hectic. Everything was going good until I decided to pull my trash out. Instead of picking the bag up, I dragged it across the garage floor and bust the bag and had oil on the floor and my mental was not gonna let me leave that oil down there until I got back home so I took my son to school because we was already running late how I be getting up extra early and still managed to run late I don't know so I took my son to school and I had about an hour before my client was scheduled to come so I ran back home and got that oil up because like i said my mental was gonna have me all i was gonna be frustrated at work knowing that i left that oil on that that garage floor like that but then after doing that i was like this car look dusty so i had to pull the water hose out wash the car not like real real good but wash the car and then take a shower because i'm like i'm not going to work smell like outside so i had to jump in the shower i did all this in like a matter of 30 minutes y'all and then come to work oh not to mention the fact that i needed gas like it was to the point where the light was blanking like it wasn't even showing how many miles i got to empty that's how bad i needed gas i passed by so many gas stations all to go to 
the particular gas station that I go to on the regular, my my OCD it's it, it's out of control. Like the way I have to have things done a certain way or left a certain way, or I get frustrated, it's crazy. And it's like it's not a good thing because when you have OCD or I don't think it's extreme like I ain't constantly just wiping stuff down or nothing like that but when you have to have things going a certain way it's hard for you to make change in life and that's not good but I'm getting much better because I've been really considering moving to another city yeah I think it's about time for me to leave this one I don't feel like it's room for growth here Although I love staying close to my family and people that you know genuinely care about you. It's just like, it's so small. It's so much like jealousy, clicked up. People won't support you because they feel like you're already doing better than them. Like, it's, hey, still love my city though. But anyways, we're going to sit here and wait on this client to dry. And then after that, I'm going to, I got another client after her. And then after that, I'm going to try to run and get my toes done real quick. Because we've been trying to do that for like two weeks. So, yeah. And then I'm going to check back in with y'all once we get done with these clients. I'm back yeah we pretty much didn't do nothing but work today um on thursdays i work all day long so but in between some clients i did go to the nail shop to get my toes done and they is ugly very ugly so i won't be showing y'all that i ain't gonna say it's her fault well sort of kind of because she cut my toenails too short you can't cut my toenails real short or my toes will look like little, especially that big toe. It look like a little potato or something. Like, no. Why would you do that? So, she cut my toenails too short. And then, my behind picked out a ugly red. So, I don't like the color. And, we're not going to show y'all that. We're not even going to waste our time. So, I will be going back Monday to get them redone. Because I need to get my nails done also. But... For the most part, that was all we did today was work, and I were finally home when it took a bath, put some moisturizer on our skin, and we in the bed. I'm finna get ready to watch some vlogs, catch up on all uh, the girls, and I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. I will be picking y'all up tomorrow, and excuse me. Um, tomorrow's Friday. And Saturday, we gonna get out and about and do something after I get off of work. So, yeah, that's what we got planned. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. Your girl is currently at Starbucks trying to get some pep in her step because I need it. The energy level be low. Y'all know how Starbucks do you. Get you together. But I am waiting on my drink. I got a... Uh, iced espresso shaking martini somebody martini go you gonna get them um ice toasted vanilla oak shaking espresso that was a lot to say but anyways i have not picked y'all up since thursday it is now sunday friday and saturday i worked a half a day and then like during the evening, I just didn't feel like doing nothing. I felt like I just needed to reset, recharge this weekend. I feel like I've been on go mode, doing, 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 doing. And I just needed to cleanse my energy and recharge, like I said. So today we are going to cook. Probably make us a little martini or something. I'll be showing y'all that. And then... I do need to run a few errands but right now like I said we're gonna go it look like it's it's cloudy kind of like it look like it's gonna rain but it's only like a three to six chance of rain so hopefully that's not the case 
but it ain't as cold as it usually be cold to me is anything under 69 that's cold i live in florida but yeah um i just been getting off subject what i was talking about about the stuff we was gonna do right yeah so we're gonna do that and we ain't gonna get dressed up or nothing today but we're gonna attempt to get just a little more wearing out of this hair because baby it's time to wash it it's time to wash it but we're gonna wear it one more day we'll wash it tomorrow and yeah let's go ahead and get our starbucks so we can get our day started i've been thinking about getting veneers y'all because i got a gap i don't have like bad teeth but i do have a gap and i did have um uh, what i had the little retainers but if you don't constantly wear them things and you start wearing them for a while that gap comes back so yeah i've been thinking about the veneers but i heard veneers have your breath when i tell y'all this starbucks now woke me up i done drunk a half a cup and i am feeling real anyways back on subject you know your girl is ADD. Um, but yeah, I've been thinking about getting veneers because, like I said, I don't have cricket teeth, but I am sick of my gap. Did the uh, direct smile thing, the retainers, but baby, get out the way. Did those, but if I don't constantly wear them, the gap comes back so but like I was saying I heard that your breath don't be so refreshing when you got veneers I don't want my mouth to be I gotta stand up with people and do their hair I don't want them to be like damn her breath stink it probably been some moments they didn't thought that cause yeah, especially when uh, I'm not really talking. I'm talking all day, ain't had nothing to eat or drink, and yeah, I ain't chewed a piece of gum. Baby, when I tell you this coffee got me wired up, <laughs> let's go out and put some clouds on. What shall we smell like today? Are we feeling sweet, or are we feeling unisex, or masculine? Okay, y'all, we are back, and we have put on some clothes nothing fancy just a top and some jeans and crimp the hair a little bit lip gloss doing some lashes still no nails but we are about to go to Wingstop and get Junior some wings because I promised him some wings yesterday and I didn't feel like being bothered with it so I'm gonna go get him some wings I did take some steaks out to cook later for dinner but I think I'm gonna do me a crab ball in the meantime because Got to taste for some seafood. And then, what else we got to do? Oh, we need to go grocery shopping. We ain't got no food. My deep freezer is empty. I don't know when the last time my deep freezer been empty. But anyways, y'all, I'll show y'all what I got on. Nothing fancy. Like I said, still no nails. But we're going to get around to that this week. And, yeah. Oh, I end up putting on... A uh, Rouge 540 as my smell today. So I felt a little in between, a little unisex. So that's what we got on. But I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, this is what we threw on. We have on just a little thin sweater top. It's chilly outside, but I didn't want a jacket on. And then we have on some jeans, some vans for comfort, and yeah nice and simple and let's go okay y'all i am back from the grocery stores stores multiple ones i'm not gonna show y'all everything that i got because it's too much i'll show y'all a few things i got from publix um i did get the big easy easy kombucha 
two different flavors um got this one as well the girl told me the cherry vanilla was good and then i got these little probiotic shots um they were on sale ten dollars for four for ten dollars and then of course i got my waters that i love some more some more fiji waters that i ran out of and i got some lamb chops we're gonna make those this week i got some lobster tails we're gonna fry those this week but for tonight i got my snow crabs i went by the fish market got some shrimp to go with my boil snow crab boil potatoes corn i got some brussels sprouts I don't really eat Brussels sprouts like that, but I'm going to try to get into them. I'm going to try to make them another way. So, we'll see about that. But, yeah, let's get this stuff unpacked in a deep freezer and get our crab boil on and get us a drink. See y'all in a few minutes. Okay, y'all, I made my liquid marijuana for TikTok. I'm gonna tell y'all what I used. I used two ounces of coconut rum. You can use whatever coconut rum you wanna use. Um, I used two ounces of spiced rum, two ounces of melon liqueur, two ounces of blue curacao, a, <clears throat> excuse me, a half an ounce of pineapple juice, a half an ounce of sweet and sour mix, and that's all what we came up with. baby it's time to eat we are done we got snow crabs eggs potatoes shrimp sausage corn we made a butter sauce with i used onions chicken broth a stick of butter garlic what's this stuff called ginger Worcestershire sauce and a whole bunch of different seasonings like old bay lemon pepper and Whatever you want to use, child. I'm finna eat. I was hungry. And I still ain't finished that drink. And it got watered down. But we finna chug it down. Good morning, y'all. We are at the track. Getting us a couple of laps in. I have walk and ran about a mile and a half and your girl is breathing hard i gotta lose some weight i've gained about 15 uh, 15 20 unwanted pounds and i gotta get it together by the summer because it's ridiculous yeah i hear how i'm breathing but i worked out at home but i figured i need to get out the house get outside y'all know how i feel about outside so pretty it's a pretty day y'all know i love nature but yeah we're gonna finish this thing up go home wash our tail put some clothes on still ain't washed this hell but we're gonna get that done too and yeah let's finish this last i'll probably do one more half a mile and make it two miles and then we're gonna get on off this track but we pass out see y'all in a minute y'all we are back i took a shower pulled my hair back in a ponytail left some of it kind of hanging out to give the claw effect and then i don't have on any lashes any makeup just some lip gloss clean face um i also put on a three-piece set from fashion nova some lv slides and keeping it simple all we about to do is really just probably go to the beach sit by the water journal that's the type of mood i'm in i feel like i need to go by the water and write and after that we'll figure our life out i don't know what we're gonna do but yeah this is what we got going on simple comfortable out the door we go you know I fucked a friend, we tryna make that shit work And we both come from the bottom, bottom Matching AP's rockin' pro
Okay, y'all, I really needed to come sit by this water. Um, lately, I ain't been feeling too good. I mean, I ain't been feeling bad, but I get in these moods where I feel like I'm not doing enough. And lately, I've been in, in that type of mood. Like, I ain't doing enough. Like, I need more. But I don't know what that more is. So every day, I ask God every morning to order my footsteps, show me what I'm supposed to be doing because I know anything that you do has to have a purpose but it's supposed to have a purpose anyways but I don't know if I should move but if I move it's got to be somewhere with a beach because I love the beach I love the water so probably like Miami or something but at the same time I like staying in a small city where it's not chaotic all the time because I can get overwhelmed with like uh, I got social anxiety sometimes but I don't know it's like I want the big city life but then at the same time I like staying where it's not so so busy like even when I lived in Atlanta it was like I stayed in the outskirts in Marietta so it wasn't so bad like on a day to day basis but I don't know I'm just rambling but yeah I needed this I needed to come sit down and look at this water it kind of like recharges me write down good ideas or what I think is good ideas but anyways I'll be back Hey y'all, we are back home. I got the grill lit for some lamb chops. I got them marinating in some bourbon sauce. And that's what we got going on. I'm probably make some Cari I'm going to make some Caribbean rice with it. And after I get these lamb chops on the grill and off, I will be taking a bath. I feel like I smell like that salt water from stand by the um from when we went to the beach and what else oh yeah we're gonna make a mocktail no alcohol it might seem like i drank a lot but i really don't because i be trying to make cocktails to show people but for the most part when i make them i only drink about half of them and pull the rest out i'm the friend that gets everybody drunk you gotta watch me i'll be to my shot 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 shots and be pouring mine out. Won't be in took one shot. I don't like to drink like that. But. So don't ever think that I'm an alky. Because I'm not. I just fix drinks for other people. Or to show people how to fix drinks. But anyways. um, Yeah we ain't really got nothing going on. Gonna watch TV. What today is? Tuesday? No. Sister come on. Sisters come on on Wednesday. So, that's about the only thing I watch on TV. I'm not a TV watcher. Other than the Food Network. But, yeah. Anyways, that's all I got going on. I'm going to end this vlog tonight. After I finish cooking. And showing y'all what I cooked. And, yeah. That is all. That is it. See y'all in a little while. Oh, y'all want to go look at the grill with me? Y'all know how I grill up. Never mind. I brought y'all out here with me anyways because it's getting dark. It's getting a little scary. Oh, y'all stay in the country. Y'all watch my back. Make sure don't no bear run up on me. No damn deer. I've been seeing bats all in the sky and stuff. Child. This area can get finished. Y'all, well, I thought I was going to make a mocktail and I ain't got no strawberries. I threw the strawberries away this morning. So, guess what we're going to do instead? Just make something so basically we got some ice there i made some raspberry blue lemonade how did i make this i used um 
two packs of the blue raspberry kool-aid and the the country time lemonade one cap of it the whole cap two cups of sugar if you like it real sweet use two and a half cups and everybody be thinking like this something fancy a lot of the restaurants here or the food diner places sell this and people be like swearing they got good lemonade little do they know it's some simple old kool-aid country time lemonade mixed up and they be thinking they really doing something anyway we're gonna do this and then we're gonna do we bought this sparkling water it's strawberry citrus because like i said i thought i was gonna have some strawberries but i don't so we're gonna try this oh uh, let's squeeze some of this lime up in there child we're just trying some i don't know how this gonna taste but whatever and then we're going to add this oh that's dirty y'all see it Ooh. i hope it tastes good and then we're going to add a little fresh mint for the look and that's our drink i'll let y'all know how it tastes when i sit down and eat my lamb chops with y'all hold on okay y'all this is my meal for tonight i have lamb chops brussels sprouts caribbean rice and my mocktail. Let's eat. And I am back to say goodnight. I just took me a bath. And of course y'all seen my dinner. I had lamb chops, Caribbean rice, and Brussels sprouts. That mocktail was delicious. Although we're going to try it again with some strawberries once we get the strawberries. So we can smush them down in the bottom like they do on TikTok. But overall, it was very good. Y'all should try it. And yeah, today was a good day. I enjoyed sitting by the water. I needed that. Can't wait till the summertime. Oh yeah, speaking of sitting by the water, earlier today, I did say I have social anxiety. I do not have social anxiety because yeah, your girl be the life of the party. People always want me at the party. But excuse me. I do not like being around people for too long, I must say. Even when I'm at work, like in between clients, I have to go sit in the car after a little while, like, because I just don't like to be around people for a long time. I get aggravated. Please don't judge me, and I won't judge you. But, and then even on like girl trips, I have to have my own room because. I need my space. It's one thing that we already got to be around each other 24-7 doing activities. Please let me go in my little corner, my little space, my room, and get me a mental break. But Which is kind of like not a good thing because y'all know I'm single. And I've been single for a while. So I'm going to have to really, really, really like you for us to live together. Or you either gonna have to be like my twin mentally or like cleanest the way I do because yeah, I'll be ready to put your ass out or you'll be ready to put me out after a while because yeah, like I said, I get tired. But yeah, that's pretty much it on it. It's so crazy because I walk around talking to myself all day long. And that was what made me want to do vlogging because I be in this house just doing skits, talking to myself. And then when I pick up this camera, it be like, what to talk to them about? But speaking of picking up this cam camera, baby, this thing will let you know all your flaws. When I tell you earlier today, when I was looking at some clips, I said, am I a cock at it? Cross at it? I ain't never known to be that. But, yeah, it'll make you 
see all your flaws and on top of that i was like why my mouth look crooked like i done had a stroke or something no disrespect to anybody that done had a stroke but i was like my mouth look a little crooked then my lips look like real little like little bird lips but and they really not even little like that in person but whatever and yeah that's pretty much it Another thing I gotta stop doing is looking at that viewfinder over there and look at this lens. That'd be so difficult because you'd be wanting to look at yourself, make sure you look right. But then you need to be looking right here instead of over there. But yeah, I like vlogging overall so far. <sighs> After a while, I guess it'll come natural. And I won't feel like I'm um, trying to find something to talk to y'all about. Because like I said, I walk around this house all day talking to myself. Why not talk to y'all? But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this week with me. Next time y'all see me, we're going to be really washing this hair. I've been saying that for so I've been saying that about my nails too. We're going to do something with these nails. I ain't really worried about these nails. I really want something done to them for Valentine's Day. I might put some press-ons on for real, but yeah, we're going to wash this hair. And that will probably, that's going to be in the next vlog. We're going to wash this hair. So y'all going to see me next week. But I'm going to be seeing y'all tomorrow when I wash this hair. And yeah, see y'all next week. Good night.